to Trending brought to you by Airtel. My name is Kimapra and today we have a fun-filled show for you. I cannot wait to show you guys what we have under our sleeves. But before we do that, we're going to go on a short break and we'll be right back. Welcome back. It's time to get the ball rolling on our interviews today. Joining me on the show is none other than Ijola Balaba uh, Corona. Is she? <laughs> Hi, Crayon. How, How are you doing? doing? I'm fine. I'm alright. I'm chilling. Uh uh, you're looking nice, so. Gotta stay, man. Who <laughs> <laughs> styles do you? I do my styling myself. I just put all the things together. Are you artists? Most of you now have now become your own personal stylist. Yeah, because like, so. you know how you want to look, you know? right? It's really nice. That's so good. Uh <laughs> uh, are you ready for us today? I'm ready for now. Yeah. You know, this show now has changed. I know you might probably have come on training before, but new spice added to it. You can see it, right? It's nice, yeah? Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. So, Crayon. Yes, sir. After writing <laughs> Jam for like one, two, three, four. Oh my god. What happened to the fifth time? Um, I think at the, at the fifth one, I met Baby Fresh already. Okay. Baby Fresh, like I'm Maven, you know, mm -hmm. and um, I won't be able to like juggle school and music at the same time. Because mm -hmm. like in Nigeria, it's quite stressful. Yes. Music alone is crazy, then school, mm -hmm. super crazy. So, you know, I sat my parents like, down. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, mom, dad, I want to make music now. My dad was like, why? I'm like, I feel like that's what, you know, my heart is going for. I just want to do it. Mm -hmm. My dad's like, okay, just try this fifth one. If it doesn't work out, you can do the music. Yeah. But for me, I already planned everything. You're I'm like, really going to watch this video now. We're like, ah, oh, <laughs> so we didn't write this down. <laughs> so, yeah, so I made a bit of pressure already. Like, it was just a moment for me where I just had to make that big sacrifice because i love school i want to go to school so bad i mean to write like the jam like five times you know that you this know that guy yes, wants to, really to, go to school. wanted to do that yes. but you know i just had to like make that big sacrifice and just do it and then i was in uni like writing my first ctm exam i worked out and everybody was just looking at me like oh, who is this guy how like why would you do that after waiting mm -hmm. for so long you know how writing exams uni like is crazy because everybody likes not to go to uni lab yeah know, so it was crazy. I couldn't tell nobody. I had to call my friend. One of my friends' name is Julius. I'm like, bro, I um, uh, just do the crazy thing, crazy thing in my life. He's like, I feel like you just should go that. You're serious. Yeah. So don't worry, you're going to read the fruit in the future. Mm -hmm. So just keep going. Mm -hmm. So I just, you know, lied to my parents that I wrote the exam, but my name didn't come out. They made the list. So mm -hmm. to this day, they don't know, but I feel like they watched it to me. <laughs> they don't know. I just spilled a secret. But, yeah. you know, after meeting Baby Fresh, you know, I met them Jazzy the same day. So the rest was history. It was right? history. Yeah. So did you ever think of, oh, I still want to go back to school, or it's just like, you know what, I'm past that? I definitely want to go back to school, but this time I'm going to study something different, like music business. Exactly, something yeah. more in relation to what you're yeah. doing. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. That's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you were also selling CDs at some point. You know, I was it. With my dad, I was selling records. Your dad was selling yeah. records. So that's how I became like a music fanatic. Oh. Like, in my house, there's a heap of like different sound like hip-hop, reggae, R&B, Afro mm -hmm. beat, jazz, from the whiskey to Lamy D, to the Peace Quest, to Shaggy, to 50 Cent, to Jay-Z, to Beyonce, like Michael Jackson, like I grew up around music. I feel like I was born into it. Into like, it, I, yes. I didn't even you know, realize I could sing until someone got to me like, ah, bro, is single? Really? Yeah, so I just like, okay, and I was watching like plates and my house cleaning up and singing. I'm like, okay, that's just every single. <laughs> so God, that's I just amazing. Doing it, man. So, yeah, yeah. so, you, I mean, from what you're saying, so it really influenced your, you know, your music background and did it influence your sound also, the kind of music you listen it to? It does, because like, um, I think that's one of the things that also influenced my name, Korean, because when I was looking for a name, you know, that, that would stand out for me, that would just make everybody like, ah, mm -hmm. why crayon? Why crayon though? Because like, when you get a pack of crayons, it's like different colors inside. That's how my music is, like different sounds in one. For all race, black, white, wow. where you're from. You feel me? I feel you. So yeah, that's, that's, that's actually what my name is all about. I and feel I'm happy. you. It just suits me. Everybody just say, ah, name suits you. So mm -hmm. from then on, everything is history right now. So how is it like, hearing from baby fresh what was going through your mind that period when you met like i mean look at the decision you had to make you were literally like no to school like baby fresh and you know i've met baby fresh and don jazzy so like this is where my focus is going to be on now 
was that like a life-changing moment for you? Definitely. Because all of this you're seeing right now is as a result of that DM mm -hmm. on Instagram. You know, I'm thankful. I think I came out from church that day, around December period, like 2017, December period. I just got a text from one of my friends like, bro, Alpha, Jazzy, I'm just they want to see you. I'm like, you did Chris? Wow, yeah, like, how is that how? even possible? Like, because I didn't have a smartphone at the time. I was using one, using one um, Nokia phone. Wow. So I was like, okay, let me just check my phone. Like, check your phone. I was like, okay, I have to log into my friend's phone to check my IG. And then I saw the message, verified. I'm like, okay, this is actually real. I remember that night I couldn't sleep. Aww. I was so excited, like I was just so happy. And then I called my friend Uzadi because the guy that produced mm. closer, the guy that produced me for Rema, Iron Man, it was big songs. Because we've been working like way back. He was the first guy that recorded me in the studio, the first time ever. So we were like super close. And then I called him like, yo, tomorrow we're going to meet. And he couldn't believe it. He's like, bro, is it lie? I'm like, bro, for real. So as I reach Peninsula and fly back, reach around to me, enter the streets. That part said, guys, show me the room again. It's like, I'm going to see now. It's not just the logo outside. I'm like, okay. Wow. It's the real. right address. Yeah, it's real. <laughs> it was crazy. That moment was epic, man. Oh. You know, it was epic. And I'm, I'm happy, man. Big shout out to Baby Fred. Big shout out to Don Jazzy, Tega. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody that's, you know, been riding for me. You know, Rima, everybody. You know, I'm super thankful. That's amazing. So joining Mavens, going through the trainings and dropping your first you know, single with them. How was the waiting period for you? How was all that, you know, that whole, you know, the behind the scenes moment? How was it for you? It was crazy. It was full of up and down. Mm -hmm. You know, it was full of uncertainty. Like, you don't know what's going on. Because for me and Rema, nobody promised us anything. It's not like they say, oh, we're signing you guys. Oh, no, it's like, pull up, just stay. Let's see what we're going to do for you guys. So I came, oh. I came in like December 2017 ending. Mm -hmm. Rema came in like, 2018 beginning. Okay. We literally became friends from playing video game FIFA. Mm -hmm. Used to whoop me a lot upstairs and downstairs. I have, I have my, own, my console, so we come downstairs. I whoop me too. So we became super close. Like we share a lot of like secrets together. I love. We became super close. Like, I feel like we're spiritually connected because like we've been through a lot together. Mm -hmm. It was crazy. Sometimes where we almost gave up. I'm like, bro, wow. I don't tire. I'm not gonna go in. You like go go in. Yeah, like bro, like it was crazy. Family was calling, mom was mm -hmm. calling, you know. I remember the, the first um, Christmas I didn't spend my family, 2018, my mom was calling, I almost cried that day, because like, she's like, yo, this is the first time you're not spending Christmas with us. Like, I felt, I felt it in my soul, I felt that shit in my soul, because like, that sacrifice right there, you not know, spending time with your family, just being here, not even knowing what's going to happen the next sure. month or whatever. Where am I signed first? They signed Rema first, and mm -hmm. then they signed me afterwards, and then we came out, it was amazing, and just, Oh, you just kept soaring from there. Keep going. <laughs> so you dropped a couple of singles. I mean, moving on from like when you were signed with Mavens, but mm. like after So Fine, it looked like you took a kind of like a break or like a pause. I don't put say that, but I never took a break. Though. I was you dropping were just, music. You were just working. Behind. I was dropping music consistently. It was just that people were not paying attention to it. The way they're paying attention now. Now, mm. you feel me? So people use that word underrated. Oh, this guy is so talented, but it's underrated. Mm. But I want to thank God because <laughs> Overdose was that song yes. that you read that narrative. That, yes. that underrated. Now it's like, oh my God, Captain Hook, Crayon. Ah, ah. I'm like, yeah. I've been here, yeah, bro. Really like, good. I've been here for a minute. We've been here. I'm just, I'm just thankful, you know, everybody mm -hmm. missed that song. That one song that just. That would actually, like, just pave the way. Pave the way for you and everything else is going to be amazing. Yeah, because I mean, it is right. Yeah, Some, sometimes uh, I've heard sayings like, you know, some people's songs are like when you hear like oh this artist's song is bigger than the artist itself mm -hmm. so sometimes that song can actually f travel but people will still not even know about the artist so actually mm -hmm. still being recognized with overdose and then ijola balaba mm -hmm. and moving forward is actually a really big thing for mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. and that's that's really nice congratulations on that <laughs> what keys do you put in your music keys. yeah because like, I mean, for a minute now, like you said, Jola Balaba, Overdose, you have one out right now. Like, it's just been like back to back bangers. Yeah. What are the key points to that? Or what, what, let me say, what's your creative process? Okay, so for me, it's different. Sometimes the beat inspire my music sometimes. And the music inspire, like my, the concert I have in my head, mm -hmm. to inspire the producer. Sometimes the producer will inspire me to make music. Mm -hmm. For example, like for 
um, Ijola Balaba. Mm -hmm. The dance I did in Overdose. From that, oh, Roma, oh, Roma, oh, 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 That particular dance inspired Ijola Balaba itself, its song. Oh. So it's like, Ijola Balaba, it's like, the Balaba means butterfly mm -hmm. in Yoruba. And it's like, give me your hand and shoulder. It's like you're doing like this. Yeah. You see, Shuru, get up, blessings for your head up. It's like, this, the dance routine inspired the song. Yes. That's how crazy it is. But the one is just me just saying that, you know, I'm the one now. I'm killing it right now. I feel I feel like the one, you know, mm -hmm. I'm the one I showed at the bar. Yes. Whenever so. I see me make a dope ballet, it's like, <laughs> like a braggadocious type song because yeah. like, it's feeling like, okay, I'm winning, I'm winning. You know, and I feel, I feel I feel thankful to God. Do know. you write your music by yourself, or, does, um, or do you have people write it for you? I have songwriters as well. Okay. I'm a very open-minded person. You know, mm -hmm. I have a songwriter. Big shout out to Embryo. You know, it's an amazing songwriter. We co-wrote Overdose, Jola Balaba together as well. Nice. He's an amazing guy. I love him. Like, it's, it's, it's crazy. He's an alien. <laughs> it's crazy. So for me, my studio session is like a party. Okay. Full of people, drinks, girls, everything, choke. So that when I'm making the music, I'm giving up the Your energy. The energy in that the you studio, want to the song. So when portray, you're hearing it, yes. that's why when you're hearing the one, mm -hmm. it feels like I'm on with the club. Because yes. when I was making the music, it was like a club, like wow. a drinks, people were there, like it was lit. Yeah, it's crazy like that. So how does it feel like, you know, basking in this moment right now for you? Like everything, like you said, you know, thank God for overdose and just like killing it back to back, back to back from, you know, being signed, you said, not really being signed, but, but from joining, you know, the Mavens team from 2017 till now and like seeing all your hard work being fruitful. How does it feel like? It feels good. I was talking to my, one of my friends like, bro, this, this doesn't feel like winning. It feels like victory. Victory is when you fought so many you fought wars. fought so many wars, And you're standing yes. strong, still saying mm -hmm. you're the one. That's victory. It's like, I'm happy, I'm excited. My family is good. You don't know what it means for you to put out your music. And then it blows up. And then you're getting shows. And then you're getting more money. You're getting richer. And then like your family is good. Everybody's happy. That's what everybody's praying for. I mean, I'm just thankful to God. That's man. amazing. I'm That's really, really nice. I'm still yeah. struggling to learn you people's dance because I'm like, I'm, <laughs> I'm stuck on this place. After then, I cannot even, because there's always a dance for like the next video and the it's next crazy. video and the next video it's and it's crazy. like we can't even keep up and when we can't keep up that's good because that means there's just so many good songs being yeah, put it's out crazy. it's crazy for me that's like, really nice dance has always been part of me like when i was growing up you know in the hood i'm very good at mimicking when i watch something one time okay. I, I do it like real quick that's why I, you know like i come up with dances when in the hood so i just come up with dance moves in the hood mm -hmm. before and I started implementing it in my music. All of my songs that I've dropped has dance moves. I'm so fine. Yes. I did this. Then I know I did one that's dance move, overdose, and jola. It's always a dance move. Mm -hmm. Subconsciously. I don't know how I do it, but it's always a dance move to my music. That's amazing. That's yeah. nice. That's nice. What legacy do you intend to leave behind? I just want to be seen as a symbol of hope. You know, to every boy, every girl, mm -hmm. you know, whether you're in the trenches or from a rich background, I don't want to look at me and be like, if Korean can do this, I can do it too. You yes. Know, not placing myself too high that mm -hmm. you can I feel like, oh no. I feel like I want you to look at me and be like, okay, if you can do it, I can do it too. Like for, like I said, you know, symbol of hope to every young Nigerian, to every young black Nigerian. boy, black girl, mm -hmm. wherever you're from, whether you're indigo, whether you're white, whether you're watching me from. Everything is possible when you look at my life, man. Everything is possible, Definitely. and that's a fact. Mm -hmm. Talk to us about your upcoming projects. 2023, what do we expect from Crayon? Or what are we yet to expect? Because you already dropped something. Yeah. Yes. I just dropped my second single off my debut album, the one. So I'm going to be dropping my debut album this year. Um, I'm excited, like, it's my first time dropping it. An album. Oh, I'm work. so happy. Like yes. did a meeting yesterday with my team. Everybody's excited. Like mm -hmm. it's crazy. Whenever I go crazy, and um, I feel like it's high time for me to drop an album because like we've been dropping EPs, mm -hmm. singles. So I feel like now is the perfect time because now yes. I've got everybody ears listening to me right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's the perfect time for me to put on like a proper body of work. So I'm happy and excited. So album is coming soon. Touring, more videos, more more singles. After this single, another single is going to drop for the album drop, so it's exciting times. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, we cannot wait 
to hear what you have in store for us in your upcoming body of work. We definitely look forward to that. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to go on a short break and we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Thank you for joining us today on this show. We hope you had a great time. Don't forget to stay in touch on all our social media platforms. On Instagram, it's at official hip TV. On Twitter and YouTube, it's at hip TV. Till we see you again, my name is Kim Opera, and don't forget to keep it moving. <laughs>